Okay everybody, today's tech blog is going to be about plane bending within inversions. And the main idea here is that you're going to go into an inversion and bend it around to where you come out spinning the opposite direction that you started. And there's two main ways to do this, starting from a wall plane. Now if you start in a different plane, then you're going to end up bending different directions. But starting in wall plane, you can either bend to the horizontal and keep going to reverse the direction, or you can bend to the buzzsaw plane and then keep going to reverse the direction. So I have three different patterns that uh, utilize this kind of bending, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and here we go. So the first one, or the first two, you go from wall plane to horizontal plane, back to wall plane, which sends you back going the other way. And uh, so here's the first one which um, you start here and you're going to link over like that just like you would to go into a forwards barrel roll like so and essentially you're going to link over and then curve it this way so you're taking it and you're laying it down flat and essentially if you just keep going you come out the other way now in order to do this you're definitely going to want to be used to doing just like like a horizontal um, uh, like barrel roll weave. It's really hard to like maintain a, um, a horizontal just like barrel roll like that, but if you do it just to like go in one side and come out the other, um, it's not that hard and it's a pretty cool move and you should definitely practice it. What you're doing is linking and going to the horizontal like that. So pretty much with this, you, you pretty much start the bend almost before you go into the inversion. Like you kind of, like right, like right as you go in. So you're not actually going into a barrel roll and then bending it all the way around to come out the other way. You really, you start right as you go into the inversion. And like that, you come out the other way. And then you can repeat on the other side. Like so. Now the first time I ever saw this move done was used in what's being called inverting the introversion, which is where you go into an introversion, you do the bend, and you come out in an introversion going the other way, like so. And you can do this this way, the way that I'm doing it right now, with a, just like a wall plane flower in between to get your other arm on top, or you can do it in more of like the... Uh, the introverted weave way where you do an introversion, curl it around, and then go back the other way. But I like doing it with, with the wall plane flower just because it gives a whole nother dynamic to it. And it just kind of makes a, a fuller pattern. But uh, So that's that one. And the other one, I think I first saw on a, a Drex's tech blog. I know in the blog he said who discovered it, but I'm having trouble remembering it. But it's, it's essentially the exact same bend, except for you start from a quarter time stack, like this. And essentially just once you get to the other side, the poi that's going to like shoot out that way, links around, and you twist it around, and you come back out, and you go quarter time across the bottom again. And this one I really like. And you don't have to do just the crawl across the bottom. You can do um, you can do like this pattern, like that. You can do like that kind of stuff. I think you could probably even do like like horizontal, like that, and then go back horizontal. But that actually doesn't involve a bend because you're just staying on the horizontal plane the whole time. So those are the two that involve bending to horizontal and then back. Now the other one, I'll show you the bend without the inversion. You're going from here, bending to the buzz saw, and then back out going the other way. Just like that. And the way I do this is to start, just do like an open extension, inversion in, and you just come out the other way, like that. And I really like this one. This one I just discovered a few days ago, and it's the main reason I'm doing this vlog. But it's really nice. And just like with that other one, you really do start the bend like right as you're going into it. So when you're coming around here, like you kind of bend into this, then go into the inversion, 
and bend as you come out. So most of the bending occurs like right as you enter and as you exit. And the main part of the inversion happens in this barrel roll in the buzzsaw plane. Then as you exit the barrel roll, you bend out back to the wall plane. Like this. And um, a bit of a spoiler, but uh, I'm kind of working towards right now, doing um, just to uh, start in a barrel roll and bend it around and then up. And I've pretty much, I've gotten half of a toroidal inversion, if, that what, if that's what it would be called. But just doing the horizontal bend to go from a forwards barrel roll to a reverse barrel roll, just like that. Except for when you do that, you just take it around in a circle, which is proving to be really difficult. Mostly just because I'm not as good at the, uh, the reverse barrel roll. And when you do it, you end up, you know, up here doing like a back bend reverse barrel roll kind of thing. But um, I'm working towards it. So I uh, hope you guys have fun with that and enjoy. Thanks for watching.